Since the Citizens United case of 2010, I have heard many say that a corporation is an individual. I also heard Mitt Romney make this claim, and when questioned, Romney said, well, it's made up of individuals. This is a fallacy of composition. It assumes that what is true of each part must also be true of the whole. Certainly, a corporation is made up of individuals, but the corporation as a whole is not. Take, for example, an automobile. An automobile is made up of many parts, including tires. Is an automobile a tire? No. It has tires on it, but it's not a tire as a whole. And a corporation is made up of many distinct individuals, and that corporation as a whole does not have the same characteristics as any one of those individuals. So a corporation, in conclusion, quite simply, is not an individual. Uh, for example, to my Rand Paul fans out there, would you say that our government is the equivalent of Rand Paul? I would think not. Rand Paul is one of 100 senators. The Senate is not Rand Paul. The government is not Rand Paul. Only Rand Paul is Rand Paul. Rand Paul is part of the Senate. He is part of the government, but he is his own person. Now, I realize that many of the other members of the Senate, you could say, are... Uh, a lump sum that many of them are probably pretty much the same. Most of them tout the party lines. Nonetheless, they are individuals and are at least capable of thinking freely if they so choose.